we get students to focus on a specific idea or concept inside the classroom. When learning something new or trying to reinforce a skill in math and literacy, it can be difficult to work with a large group of students. So why should you be using learning centers? Today, we are going to explore five reasons math and literacy centers are a must have in your classroom. Stay tuned. Welcome back, educational rock stars. I'm Farah, the CEO and founder of Farah Henley Education, where I strive every week to bring you actionable tips and strategies to take back into your classroom and give you simple systems that actually work so you can finally teach and give your students the biggest impact in their learning. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button and click that bell so that you get notified when we go live or upload a new video here on the channel. A learning center is an area of the classroom where students work individually or in groups on a specific concept or idea. Using centers is an easy way to differentiate and engage students of all ages and learning styles. Using math and literacy centers is a great way to help students gain knowledge and feel more confident in your classroom. Often when you are using centers, you're going to put students in small groups and have them work together in a particular area of the classroom. When you have a smaller group of students, it is easier to explain an idea and get their full attention. Because you're using small group instruction, your students are getting individualized learning, which makes it it that much more meaningful. For example, if you are working with a group of fourth graders on math, you can introduce the concept, review it, and then get them started and help each student as you go. This makes the learning very specific. Below in the description, you'll find a link to grab a sample of our digital centers that you can use during your small group instruction. Now we all know that review is incredibly important. Often the subjects we teach like math build on past concepts. When students are adding another layer of knowledge on top of something they already have done, it is important to go back and review the basic skills. You can do this in learning centers. Using centers to review is a great way to make sure each student is where he or she needs to be in order to move on to the next level. The bonus is you don't have to reinvent the wheel when you review. You can use past information in these centers to help reinforce past ideas. If you are reviewing addition or multiplication in centers, your students can grab onto that concept and soak it in like a sponge. Others take more time. Whether the student is fast, slow, or an average learner, you can enrich their knowledge at any level he or she is at in centers. Because you can individualize, you can challenge your students without leaving some of them in the dust or leaving some bored out of their minds. As you know, a bored student is one who is probably going to cause a problem, but that's a whole different video. If you're using centers in your classroom and maybe you're learning a new literacy concept that some have mastered, you can push that group forward. You are challenging them and creating teachers for future centers. Imagine trying to teach a group of first graders after being home for an extended period of time. Whether that's in the classroom, in person, or virtually, getting all of our students to focus is going to be more of a task. Someone has to tell you their favorite color is pink. Someone else has to tell you about a new pet. Using centers eliminates some of that distraction. When you have students in small groups, they are more engaged because there is less of a distraction. In addition, you are giving them a challenge at their level. Tactfully grouping students together for maximum learning is vital when using centers. Differentiation is always needed in the classroom. When you get a group of fresh students in kindergarten, you're getting students from all walks of life and all backgrounds and educational experience. Some of them have been reading with their parents and reciting the ABCs since they were two. Others have never had any structure in their lives pretty much at all. Some went to preschool, others did not. Using centers will help you differentiate for your new kindergarten students, but it's not just wonderful in kindergarten. It can work at any grade level. 
By differentiating, you are pushing your students who may be a bit behind forward in an appropriate way while not letting those who are on track sit there and get bored and kind of become a problem in your classroom when they're bored. Centers are a great way to help students academically, but when done correctly, it can be a classroom management savior. Making sure all of your students are getting an education that pushes them forward no matter where they start is the ultimate goal. When you use centers for learning, your classroom becomes an individualized work of art. Why do you use centers in the classroom? Let me know in the comments down below. We want to know how math and literacy centers help you with your classroom instruction. Are you looking for easy math and literacy centers? Check out my year-long bundles for both printable and digital math and literacy centers. The links are in the description below. You can even try them out by clicking on the link to grab a sample of our digital centers. That link is in the description as well. If you're looking for more tips and strategies and simple systems for your classroom, check out the videos on your screen. Thanks for watching and keep being an educational rock star.